hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel mr electric diy in this video i'm going to talk about a rectifier or smps this component i have here is called a rectifier or smps these two names are correct a lot of technicians knows that this smps here only converts ac to dc and that is what we are to find out and you could see that we have three terminals here that's the input and five terminals at the top here also the output and we have to find out whether this smps converts only ac to dc and this three terminals here you have the live and the neutral and this last terminal here is the eight this drawing we have here is pointing towards this terminal and this terminal that's the positive side of the terminal and we have two of them here and the negative side we have three so if i want 24 volt dc how to connect one cable to this side and the other cable to one of these three negative terminals that is when i'll get the 24 volt dc and as i said we are here to find out whether this smps only converts ac to dc or dc to ac and here this is the dc on the moment i connect this smps to a supply that is the live and the neutral i connect it to this smps this dc on you see here this is led indicator it will light up you also have this section that is the voltage adjustment potentiometer in case you want to increase the output voltage that is the dc this is that uh, this section is hot you're supposed to use to increase the output voltage that is the dc if I insert this tester here and turn it, I'll just increase it right now. We have a description over here, and we are here to find out what at all all this description is about. We have this is on one type of SMPS or rectifier. We have the input, and the input ranges from 100 to 240 volts AC, 50 to 60 hertz, and 2.6 amps. The moment I supply this SMPS, I supply it with this is the uh, the supply terminals, the live and the neutral. Then this SMPS will automatically draw 2.6 amps of current. The moment I connect the live and neutral without the load, this SMPS will draw 2.6 amps of current. And down here, that is the output voltage. After I've connected the input. That is um, from 100 to 240 volts AC. And I turn on my breaker or the switch. The output terminal is going to give me 24 volt DC. That is the maximum current will be 5 amps. So your load or whatever you are going to connect the SMPS to must be less than this 5 amps or equal to this 5 amps. It shouldn't be more than 5 amps. This is the maximum output current. And where you are going to install this SMPS, the surrounding temperature shouldn't be more than this maximum temperature we have here. And when we come to the down here, you could see that we have this is the same the input and the output. It is the same input and output I've explained here. But down here, you could see that there is another line. And we also have input and output voltage. And this input also ranges from 90 to 350 volt DC. 1.5 amps meaning the same terminals i was saying you can connect live and a neutral that same terminals you can also connect you have it here the 90 to 350 volt dc and the moment you connect set power this smp is going to draw 1.4 amps of current the meaning the input voltage it can either be ac or dc it will still work after you have connected 90 to 350 volt dc that's the range the output is going to be 24 volt DC, 4.0 amps. Upon all the description we have read here, it simply means that we can connect the supply, the live and the neutral, either AC or DC, it will still work and it comes with a range. If it, it is AC, it must be 100 to 240 volts AC. And if it is DC, it, it must also be 90 to 350 volts DC. And practically, I have my LED indicator here is the LED indicator we have either AC or DC 24 volts it will still work 
the indicator will grow so so practically i'm going to connect this smps to this led indicator i have my breaker here this is the live the red cable let's connect it to the smps from the smps to the led indicator as i said the moment i turn on the breaker this dc indicator is supposed to turn on i will connect the red cable to the positive side of the smps and to one side of the led indicator i have to connect the negative side too now i've successfully connected the smps to the 24 volt dc indicator so i'm going to turn on the breaker guys if you find this video helpful make sure to like and subscribe and feel free to ask any question in the comment section thanks for watching